I like to stay in the horse stance. It, it helps my legs and, and the core. Uh, this is also working your core too. Okay, so I'm holding the exercise, cross, up, down. Okay, so going on exercises again, because this is going to be five videos, because I'm losing light too. But um, you got to strengthen the exercise, do that. Um, do this against the forearm. Up and down, across. You got to hear the noise, that means you're actually hitting it, okay? Do the stopping exercise. Up and down. Don't have to be perfect, but as long as you get the idea of learning how to squeeze and stop it where you want. If you if you throw this at somebody's face, you should be able to stop it before it knocks them out. You may not stop it to where it hits them, but it's not going to kill them because it's not going full force. If I'm going like this. I'm really going like that, but I'm also stopping it. So this is really important to learn how to stop, okay? And also go all the way through. Okay, so, and then you got this. Switching. And right in front. The other one is this one. It might be the last one. But here, like I got it right in front of my sternum. I'm going to go this way. Kind of like this way. But it's going over. Not like that, not like the punch, but over. Kind of like the bong sao. It'll help you learn that block. But it's also if somebody grabs this and they want to hold on to it, and you're doing this, there's going to be some pop. Was it snap, crackle, and pop? That's the way you used to call it. If you, have, you have, if you heard wrist break, dislocate, Wrist really can't break. Some of the bones can break in there, but the wrist is not really a solid bone. It has those joints so it can dislocate. And if you ever dislocate uh, a wrist in a fight, that 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 hand is done. Or you can dislocate your elbow. This can dislocate the elbow too, especially if you're doing this with a turn. Everything is power mechanics. Okay, so the, if somebody's not, if somebody's expecting to hold onto this. You tell them to hold on tight as you can. I want to see if I can get your hand off. They may have a chance, but if they're holding on and not expecting you to do that like that, especially with a turn and then a come back, it's going to be over. As you see, all these have consequences. Okay? So that's the exercise over. Now, if you've been practicing the stance, I know it's going to take people months. One guy took a couple years, and one of my guys still haven't got, and my best friend still haven't got a sandbag, even though it's important. Okay, if you can practice switching with this, you can practice switching overhand too, okay? Practice coming down. But you're still in this stance here. So practice comes down like this, back over, back over. Here. Okay. Like this. Figure eight. This is a figure eight. Nunchuck, nunchuck style to do all the time. Okay. Figure eight. Laying down on the side. And basically, this is what you're going to do. Front and natural stance. I'm trying to get this stance really tough for you. And you'll see me going to the horse, semi-horse, or the front stand. Man, my neighborhood is so, so loud. Okay, so the ring is going to follow a figure eight laying on the side. But you're going to be way out. You don't want to be like this. You're going to be right in here. Okay? This is a figure eight laying on the side. If I had a paintbrush in my hand and a white wall is there I'll be drawing an eight laying on this side with this ring but I'm not holding it tight okay I'm holding it loosely 
that way it'll have it'll just kind of see how it just kind of falls out of my hand if I was on it tight it wouldn't fall by itself at all but I'm holding it lightly and I'm drawing that figure eight. it's gonna take a little bit to, to get this that I'm going here and to start out I want you to go about this speed okay Figure eight is really loose in my hand. But I'm controlling it. This is going to help you with the control of stopping it or letting it go to the forearm. It's going to have that control along with the other exercises. So this figure eight, loosely in your hand, drawing that figure eight. And go about this speed. Not all like this. Well, yeah, I actually do like that, but not way out here, okay? You want to protect this part of you. Okay, that's a good speed. And from here, you can do that. You can do a lot of stuff because here you let it go back, and then you would whip it forward. But that just come with practice. I mean, you'll have, you'll do that. And then it's, of course, the figure eight up and down. That, now the eight is this way. The eight is going here is right in front of you. You can see the eight is not laying down anymore. This side figure eight, this is right in front. Help you learn to go down. Okay, so do the figure eight exercise, both hands. Both hands. And I would do this for, try to get up to a minute. The figure eight for a minute. To where you can get it about this speed, okay? And you gotta be loose. You can't you can't do the body. It's just wrist and elbow. If I just held this part, I was going going through my hands loosely. So you want to get it to about about this speed. exercises for the ring and the sandbag 12 times tight out tight out tight pop it up 12 times grinding you have to get a close for this grinding what you're doing is you're bringing this part like you strike with that Okay, so you're grinding and bringing it back. So when I pull back, my hand is flat. I bring the fingers towards myself with my thumb in and stop it here. Thumb is in, hand is here. So it's like this. When I get here, I kind of pop a little bit. From here, I go back the other way, same way I came. Pull in, and this is really tight. That's for striking. Tight. Forearm is tight. Forearm is tight. Up. Go back the same way. So grind. Back. Grind. Back. This is going to be useful in the ring, in the sang bag, because if you punch, if you have a loose wrist, you may pull it that way. You may strain your wrist. You want to have a tight wrist when you're punching somebody, okay? So, the next one is from the knife hand, or snake hand, down, up, down, up. Down, up, 12 times, down. And this is real, this is tension. I'm not going like this. I'm tension, tension. Back up, 12 times. One, I mean left, right, left, right, 12 times. Left, right, and you can do them at the same time. Get it out of the way. 12 times, so you got this. 12, grinding, 
That's one. That's two. That's three. So full rotation, both sides equals one. Uh, down and up with some tension, left and right. Tiger claw exercises or eagle claw. Okay. And what you're doing is you're, you're squeezing, like you're squeezing something. You're not just going like this. You're squeezing for strength. See the strength? If I'm just relaxed, that's what it looks like. Once I tighten up, I'm squeezing, okay? One, two, three, four, all the way to 12 times. Shake your hands out, and that's it. Okay, so if it's too dark, I apologize. Uh, yeah, I hope the sound is working. I'm, I'm just starting to do this. I was asked, so you guys that asked me, you, you guys better be, even though this is for demonstration and entertainment, education, all that stuff. I know some of you guys are, I can't say I know, that's a legal thing. Some of you family may be doing this. If you do, just be safe, careful, and just do exactly as I tell you. If you have any questions, uh, Facebook me, email me. You got my, you got my information.